Hello, everyone. 2022 will be a critical year in the history of the world. In a few days, China, the most powerful authoritarian state, will be hosting the Winter Olympics. And like Germany in 1936, it will attempt to use the spectacle to score a propaganda victory for its system of strict controls. We are at or close to important decisions that will determine the direction in which the world is going. The German elections have already occurred. The French election will take place in April 2022. And in the same month, Hungary's voters, against all odds, may turn an authoritarian ruler out of power. Together with Putin's decision whether to invade Ukraine, these developments will determine the fate of Europe. In October, China's 20th Party Congress will decide whether to give Xi Jinping a third term in office as Party General Secretary. Then the U.S. will hold a crucial midterm election in November. Climate change will remain a paramount policy challenge for the world, but the dominant geopolitical feature of today's world is the escalating conflict between two systems of governance that are diametrically opposed to each other. Let me therefore define the difference as simply as I can. In an open society, the role of the state is to protect the freedom of the individual. In a closed society, the role of the individual is to serve the interests of the one-party state. As the founder of the Open Society Foundations, obviously I am on the side of open societies. But the important question today is which system of governance is going to prevail? Each has strengths and weaknesses. Open societies unleashed the creative